What's up, punters and dribblers? Welcome back to About Even for another week. It is the number one betting show on planet Earth. <laughs> Thank you to Neds for your support, without whom we would not be able to do this show. We love you, Neds. We love you, Neds. You would have been able to follow along, and I know this is an early accountability, but you would have been able to follow along on all of our bets if you jump on the Neds profiles, uh, which is in the app. Also, the About Even group. Anyway, fellas, how are we? We good? Good. Mate, good. It feels good to be like number one punning show. That's all I'll say. Yep. It just feels good to say that. Yep. Uh, and the numbers reflect it. So shout out to the punter and the yep. dribbler. Good to be here, Tom. Good to be here. Yep. Ready to rip. We ready to rip, Rue? Yeah, how you I'm going ready. down there, mate? Yeah, I uh, quiet, just mate. Feeling be quiet. So yeah, be quiet, Rue. What's going on? Yeah, it's been a tough few weeks. Um, I just did beers and break evens with Timmy, and he said to me, "Oh, mate, people are buying Justin Olam. What are your thoughts?" And I bagged the shit out of Justin Olam as I do, and then mm. I sat there and thought. Did that a week ago. Yeah. And it fisted me dry. Yep. There were breadcrumbs. Yeah. We'll get to that bit, but there were breadcrumbs. Yeah, there were. There were. You've got to um, be, you've just got to be more diligent. You've got to listen. You've, you've got to be more yeah. diligent. You've got to no be more diligent. anymore, dude. The I, amount of bets that the, the listener could get right off the back of the show well, is that's immeasurable. What talk about when you're talking about number one betting show is because if you're a bit of, you know, a bit of a dum-dum and just like, whose bet should I copy in this game? If you're smart enough, there's at least seven, eight, nine crumbs an episode. Yeah, yeah And yeah, those yeah. crumbs get up. Because the, the crumbs get up. The <laughs> bets <laughs> rarely get up, but the crumbs, <laughs> fucking hell. The crumbs, there, there is a, usually a huge one. If your bet gets shit on, it gets up. Yeah. That's probably the biggest crumb that I can speak yep. to. Yeah, yep. yep. How back you ran over there? That's um, yeah, back to reality for me after that big loss against the Broncos. No First Cowboy Monday, not sunnies. having a grilled burger either. That was a bit annoying, but yeah. The Cowboys stunk. I know. Couldn't catch a bomb to save their life no. at all, which was uh, pretty disgusting. So every time Adam Reynolds kicked a torp, I just kind of closed my eyes and prayed that the commentators weren't talking about another drop ball. Yeah. Well, I, as I said, Renault must have been listening to the potty because we were like, just put the fucking thing up. Yeah. When you're like 30 out. Yeah, put her happens. up. Yeah. Just put her up. Rando yeah. clearly listens. Rando, are we feeling the term flat track bullies potentially entering the conversation? Oh, yeah. uh, no, 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 not yeah. just yet. Not just yet. There's another I wouldn't team. Mind There's that, another though. team called I wouldn't that. mind 50 this week <laughs> on yeah, the fucking Yeah, I don't mind a flat track this week. Down I wouldn't like skiers. Go for it. Yeah. 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 We'll be wet. We'll be wet in Townsville. Wet all week, actually. There's a spoiler. But, um, oh, yeah. Spoiler. Fuck, there's one. wetness everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Don't spoil that. But you, I mean, like a officially wet? Or like, potentially you, wet. When I come up with the millimeters, you will know it's wet. Oh, fuck Torrential, yeah. we're talking. Okay. Torrential. 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 Jesus Christ. That, might, that, that <laughs> might change a few things. Uh, <laughs> let's get to some accountability, Ed. Let's uh, do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Panthers 22 defeated the Roosters 16. I was at Tedesco away at either team less than 12 and a half. Tommy was a to'o away. That's at almost bad beat territory for me, being a to'o away. Uh, did he look likely? I think you just recall. don't like... The left-hand side for Penrith almost doesn't exist. I know, but fucking Jerome Luai was the dominant <laughs> ball player, and that was Tom. Yeah, but what he does, I'm what he does a is, bit. I've got, I had May, and I was made super coach. It, and good on him, Luai. He gets it, and then he does that jink in and out, and yeah. goes back the other way. Yeah. And you just like it was doing my fucking. <laughs> Stop head jinking. In. Yeah, I like do some jinking, but like, <laughs> but, let's, but don't jink exclusively. Let's get yeah. Brian the fucking ball at two thirty. Thank you very much. Uh, Taylor May denied Sebo, and neither team to score twenty plus denied the. Rue that Panthers. was almost over in the first half, wasn't it, Rue? Uh, well, Penrith won 22 to 16, so that's your bad beat in this game, boys. Mm. Very tight. That was tough, actually. True. Upon reflection. Uh, Rabbitohs, 20, defeated the Bulldogs, 16. Red, the whole board. Yeah, whole, whole board's red. Do whole we, board's red. Do we blame Rando for that one? Did he talk us into Karaz? Did he talk us into Karaz? He basically made me fucking deep throat Karaz. You know the worst part? The worst part was when Josh Addo Carr came off at halftime, he was a left winger too. And I thought, surely, surely he gets some meat. But yeah, yeah. No, that was, no I bueno. Felt Sorry, like, boys. I felt angry. At, I couldn't remember, but I remember like as I was no, observing I this game, I, I, I felt angry visual, at Randall. I had a I visual. Like, I did say the duo bet. I did say combo with uh, Connor Tracy or Blake Wilson at the time. So, I was But Karaz like didn't score. But the right, so right edge got... They but Karaz right didn't edge. score, though. Yeah, I know that. Mm. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Interesting, though. <laughs> okay. Broncos 38 defeated the Cowboys 12. If your team showed a bit of fucking ticker, <laughs> my bet gets up. Bad beat. Cowboys into Val. Uh, that denies me. Nanai and Sailor, no good. No right. felt for Sebo. Disappointing. Yeah. Felts let you down no, multiple mate, times, I, I'm bro. deciding to just, like, look at this year in teams with sides and like the cows just don't go right anymore panthers just don't go left and it's like i'm refusing to do it anymore like just guys who used to bang all the time aren't banging anymore you got to look at the sides 
Mm, okay, interesting. Yeah, Look felt sides. Felty zero and two ever since you mentioned felt hats. So maybe that might be, might be the reason. Yeah, I know. Maybe it's gonna fuck my bet this <laughs> maybe. week. Maybe. Also, yeah. also. Uh, special mention goes to Rue, who had five legs. Wow. Cowboys one to twelve. <laughs> felt. <laughs> Sailor. <laughs> Both teams over twenty points. <laughs> He had vow, but fuck. But like one from five yeah, but like legs. Walk us through That's that. a lot of legs for you getting one. $102.50, you're good yet. <laughs> Me yeah, right, bro. Uh, when the uh, started to roll in there, I thought I was going to get five of them. So stoked to only get four, yeah. to be completely honest with yeah, you. Yeah. yeah, it's been a tough start. But uh, does it, obviously now that you are getting, well, I'd hope you're getting a little feel for how to punt. That, you know, $102.50 fucking odds and all those try scores are just a bit bold. Bit, um, bit look, boys, beautiful. when I turned on the telecast and I saw the heavens open up and it was pissing rain, I thought, Ugh, I'm in some curry here. Yeah. Mm, 102 yeah. is looking bold. So, uh, yeah, hearing Rando mention that it's going to be raining all weekend has me absolutely shitting myself. Because I don't know about you guys, but none of my bets fit a rainy no, weekend. You need mm. Preston in like every team. Yeah. yeah. No, I actually haven't got rainy bets. I've size. got a couple <laughs> of bets you could argue maybe slightly There might rainy, be wholesale changes, which is going to be music to Cody's ears. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, I'd stop what you're doing over there, Cody. Yeah, I'd uh, fucking hold the fort, bro. <laughs> Dragons 20 defeated the Seagulls 12. Yuck. This was the worst game of the round. Yuck. Mm -hmm. Seagulls were fucking toilet. There's only one way up. Only one way to go from here, really, I think. Uh, we'll get to that later. Yep. Manly 13 plus, Tommy and Brooks for Tommy Burns next to me. They all... Foul to get up. Cooler and Hamole gets up. I had DC and Hamole. DC doesn't do anything for me. Seb Manly minus 21 and a half. Alt line. Uh, gross. Second half most tries. No. Guru. Garrick. No. Turbo. No. Lomax. No. Lippy. Suli. No. Dragon. 13 plus. No. 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 Dolphins. 30. Defeated the Titans. 14. We're a JMK away from glory, gentlemen. I know. A JMK away from glory. JMK let the fucking boys down. Down, big yeah. time. Fish and hammer. That all gets up. Minus four and a half for Tommy. That gets up. Lippy bangs. Finn's minus two and a half. Herbie. The Lippies are that, going pretty well this year. That was Slade yeah. Morley as well, remember, of the great biggest unit scuba of all time. No, I, I know who Slade is, mate. I know who Slade is. And shout out to him, one of the greats. Um, he actually was, okay. he he was unlucky okay. on that Dragons bet as well, right? Because they surely got over. The 13 plus he was the only drama. And Manly score late to take it 12? Maybe not. But yeah. I think no, no, Hamalo scored in like the 70s. I think we've mid yeah. cut through like yeah. a lot of like early lippies. It's like, you know, when you go into battle, you send all the shit, like shit kickers first. Yeah. And then you get to kind of the more heavily armed guys. Um, and that's what we're facing with the lippies because. Mm. No, they're, they're, they're starting they're to bring some right. heat. Yeah. They're starting to bring some heat, Lippies, which uh, I welcome the challenge because you've been pure shit yeah, for a long, long on, time. Losers. Simple as that. Yeah. Warriors 20 defeat the Knights 12. A lot of red on the board, but there was a man who chanced his arm, chanced his arm, if mm. I'm going to use a Tom Birmingham pronunciation. Mm. Uh, Sebo with the double stake. RTS mm. wires minus six and Ooh. a half. Talk to me. Yeah. Uh, I think there was one moment in the game and this is why punting's so good, um, because you someone made a break. Uh, I don't know which Warriors players did, and he was like on the outside, and you see multiple people pushing up inside him, and you're just like, which one's RTS? You know what I mean? And then you see him for that split second before he's not the one chosen to go over, and you're just like, fuck! But that like three seconds, maybe even two seconds, you're just like on a high, you know what I mean? You're like, pick him, pick him, pick him, because I knew the line was sorted. I knew the line was sorted. RTS got close. He had a fucking good game. But just after that opportunity went, I'm like, okay, it's over. But it was good to just bring a bit of double stake and back in the game because that emotion I'm just talking about, you get it double when you double stake. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, that'll be tough though. $4.13 nice. double stakes. Yeah, that's, that's not, well, at least you didn't triple it. No. Sharks 36 defeated the Raiders 22. A lot of red in this game fucking as well. Hell. I didn't expect. <laughs> Unders was just calling to me all fucking week and <laughs> couldn't have been further from the truth. It was a little bit of a case of do the opposite last week a lot of the time. Uh, 36, 22, what's that? 58 points, right. Yeah. So that's cool. 
Uh, Raiders four and a half plus Nut. Raiders Nut. Raiders plus eight and a half Nut. Chris Nut. Tomoko Nut. Huddy Nut. Hosking Nut. Gold, Gold point, point Nut. So a lot of Nut. It was, it was Poo City. It was Poo City. Final game of the round. Easter Monday. Match of the round. The corner. Historical fixture. Tigers, Eels, Combank, Full House, just about Full House. Tigers, 17, defeat the Eels, 16. Tommy Birmingham, take it away. Listen, I said it on uh, on Monday when it all went down, like, I'm back. And I'm there's a part of me that's like, don't, you know, you don't know how to fucking feel necessarily when you're back. Because I've been down in the doldrums for so long. And then you hit the biggest bet of the year. 33.95. You guys all shit on me as well, which made it even better. It's not a Voldemort bet, but it clearly was because it got up. I'm fucking, I'm... I'm in the muck with the Mystics, it's almost it's a Mystics bet. It's a Voldemort bet. No, I think it's a fucking. Different. It's a. It's not because Voldemort well, is on. a Mystics well, by trade. The Dark Arts and Mystics, two different things. No, they're not, the they're thing. not mate. They're not well, at all. Hang on, hang on. they're not Sebo's at all. Going into the woods and yeah. met the Mystics. You get, it's witches and shit, dude. That's what the Mystics was. It was witches around yeah. cauldrons, and Voldemort is the the preeminent witch of our time. And yeah. I was in there with Voldemort. And look, listen, you have not. You can't even speak. I hit the bet. I hit the fucker, so I know what it was, bruh. And listen, I just want to calm the people out there. I know that 99% of you are calling for me to go up on the board with the Hall of Fame, an immortal bet. It's not. As much as I appreciate you and on some level I completely agree, it's not an immortal bet because the odds just aren't there. That's all. If the odds were there, if the odds were around your 50s, then yeah, I'm up there and I'm swinging my dick with the greats. But... That's just not what it is. Is it the biggest bet of the year? Comfortably. By a country rugby league mile. And I haven't seen the leaderboard yet, so it may have done absolutely nothing for my fate because I'm pretty far behind as it is. But it is just nice to get that off the back. I've done something. Get it off the back. Mate. Get me fucking moving. Get me, you know, get me into the flow of things now. And, again, not having looked at the leaderboard... Mm. It does, and I don't know how many bets you've hit. I know you've hit quite a few, but it does put all of the rugby league pressure in the world back on my dear friend down the end there, rugby league guru, just in the sense of like, well, what have you, you done you for me lately? You haven't seen the leaderboard yet, and we don't want to get carried away. I, I'm, listen, that's what I'm saying. I don't get carried away. We anyway. will get down to the un, uh, to the leaderboard. Unit scoopers, Inspired, like Sebo with his Azaki, three from eight, just pathetic stuff, really. Well, um, considering none of you got a single leg across the internet. But, <laughs> but I only had... <laughs> hey, 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 I only had one leg to get. Guru, I don't think you've hit a leg in the unit scooper. Yeah, it wouldn't shock me. I don't know. Honestly, don't. Guru's think you in have. the fight of his life. Uh, <laughs> Guru in the in the hot seat. We're getting down to the business end, sort of. Guru throws it away with a Smithies. I'll give you the lay of the land, punters and dribblers. Dribblers. This is week seven, so you got to get week seven, week eight, week nine, week ten, week eleven. You got to get five bets right to win. Burmo's in this week. Yep. I don't think he can throw it now. I think he needs to put his head down, his bum up and rip and tear and try and get some bets. Maybe get two, then maybe Sebo gets two, and then maybe I win. You know what I mean? That'd be nice. But we'll see. Pressure's on now. My big, missus big. goes to me. So she goes, did you win your hot seat bet? I went, no, but yes. Well, it's actually yes. the only bet I won this week. Yeah, weekend. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, I got confused when you put it up on your story and you go, Guru goes bang or some shit. And I was like, wait, what the fuck? Did that bet get up? <laughs> yes, like, it did. <laughs> yeah, technically. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do this hot seat this week. I haven't yeah. even thought of my bet. It's turned it's into tough. chess right now. Yeah, it's it has. A bit this of is real survivor yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, like, you yeah. could technically yeah. throw it. Do I we know, have an immunity idol anywhere? Like yeah, the, uh, <laughs> immunity <laughs> idol. That'd be pretty funny. Yeah, like if you find it in the office, you get to like skip your week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I hide it and I can look for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All uh, right. Weekly leaderboard. Tom wins with 0 0.63. Well done, mate. Well nice done. to be in the green. Lippy. No one else clapping for me there? Was it just... No. Okay, no, it's fine. Eight from 25 legs. Lippy, second one from nine. Zero, minus 0 0.41. Guru, minus 4.51. I was minus 6.61. And Sebo, minus 7.23. So the mm. leaderboard, Lippy mm. back in the lead, which is so <laughs> So we're going to put that back in the middle. Oh, wow. my God, dude. These, that's what I'm, I was saying before. These <laughs> Lippies have got some fucking tenacity this yeah, year. Yeah, they do. they got some it? real gusto, which I like. <laughs> the Lippies are in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> and then and punning, oh, punning okay. Four from 34 is not bad. 11.76. Jesus Christ. Minus 10.98 units. I am second. Five from 37. 13% of my bets. 39% of my legs. Minus 11.29. So just behind. Guru third. 
One from 37 going at 2.7%. 20% of his legs, which is horse shit. And minus 19.79. And tied in last now. Wow. Literally tied. <laughs> yeah, Dead wow. even. That's good at stuff. At the bottom. Although Tommy's technically more at the bottom. And why I'll explain why. Yeah. It's minus 24.16. I looked at it and I made an executive decision mm. as head of accountability that Sebo with two from 37 bets yep. bests your one from 37 well, and his that. legs of 30 from 92 yep. at 32% bests yours of 26 of 92 at 28%. Like a points differential. Mm. Kind so of you, you're you yeah. behind on uh, point on Percentages bet percentage and, and leg percentage. I think if it went to like the final round and it was to who was the loser though, you'd I, think you'd, no, I think you'd go for a bet off one game. Try and like change. Well, the if stars. it's like the Premier League where it's with goal difference, it's a pure, it's a pure score. Yeah, that's what the, the leg co- percentage. We're in the is content. Like. Game. But that's what the leg percentage is. But for. we're in yeah. the content game. The no, leg you want, you percentage want to try is there for no reason. He's nervous. <laughs> like he's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm already it's, last. Anyway. It's highly unlikely that we get a draw. <laughs> <laughs> highly, highly, highly unlikely. What a start to the season, yeah. hey? That is a fucking. That's but, a ripper. What you was, know what was it? What was the. Like you won with negative thirty five last year. <laughs> yeah. Just to be on negative twenty four already is fucking inspiring stuff. Oh, it's good stuff. And mm. that is accountability. One of our best. All right, punters and dribblers. First game we have is the Storm v the Broncos down in Melbourne, Amy Park. Dollar forty two for the Storm, two ninety for the Broncos. The line is seven and a half rugby league points and the total is 39 and a half. Rando, always good to hear from you again, my friend. What can you tell us about this game? Well, it's going to be one of the dry games this weekend. 17 and dry down in Melbourne. Uh, the Storm, they have won their last 11 games at Amy Park, which is their longest winning streak at the venue ever. Broncos, they haven't won at Amy Park since 2016. They've lost their last seven games at the venue. They failed to cover the line in five of their last six at the venue as well. Cam Munster is back for the Melbourne Storm, which is good news for Ryan Pappenhausen because he has scored in seven of his last eight games with money when he is playing Shit. fullback. He's amounted 12 tries in those seven games. Uh, I like that. Uh, I like that. Uh, I'll take us away. I I didn't look into any statistics. That's not going to shock anyone, but I got a vibe for the Storm. I know they've got fucking men back in a big, big way, and Melbourne's a fortress, always has been. I like Pappenhausen. I've been on him a lot this year, and he's banged for me multiple times. Obviously, a couple of weeks ago when I shit down Tom's throat, Pat Masood's was a big style. part of that. Masood, did you? Uh, Pat was a big part of that. And I'm not going to walk away from a man that's banging a house down for me. Never. Nick Meany as well. Nick Meany's been good to me this year, and that's basically my bet, punters and dribblers. I'm looking to men that have done a fucking job, blokes that'll roll up the sleeves, get out of the fucking trenches, and rip in for me. And that's Pap and Meany all day long, 6.20. I'm, I'm not setting the house on fire, baby. I'm not going for glory. I'm going for units, and that's what this bet delivers. Uh, the first of potentially eight bets that I change on the fly today, which is <laughs> good fun. Well, uh, you can only change them off the back of rando, just so you know, Guru, you can't have any uh, just random changes. You can do a control C, control V as well. I can add Pappy though, right? You can add yeah, Pappy. Yeah, so you can add Pappy well, you can based off his. Only, you can only bounce off what he's got. So you, right, yeah, you cool. could add Pappy, you could take out one try scorer for Pappy. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can take out a leg. You can take out two tries. Yeah, 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 yeah. What leg? I had either team under 10.5. I thought it was going to be raining. It's yep. not. So can I take that out for Pappy? Is that. Well, because it was weather. Yeah. 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 It was well, weather related. He yeah, said it was going to be dry. Yeah. I can be dry. Cool. I'm going to have my bet this week is going to be Ryan Pappenhausen into Ellie Katoa in this game. Um, yeah, I thought it was going to be raining, which it's not, apparently. So, Ellie Katoa into Ryan Pappenhausen as I scramble. Watch it piss down. Yep. Uh, $8.57, which may have actually been the exact odds I had anyway. Yeah, 8. 8. 47. 47. Unless you're up at 4 a.m. on Thursday in Melbourne, you won't see rain. Okay. That's confidence. I like confidence, but I never trust Rando. That is something <laughs> to live by. Um, I had Mariner and Meany anytime. Mariner, I just had to take someone on the Broncos. It was a double-ended approach because this round is fucking is, is tough to tip, I feel. And that being said, every single round has been tough to tip for me. I'm now just going to add Paps in, 13.85. So Meany and Paps to go get over for the Storm, and then you throw in a Mariner, 13.85. I don't mind it. I actually don't mind that bet. Sebo? Mm. 
Well, I obviously don't mind it because two legs are similar to mine. I mm. just hope Dean doesn't score. Well, that's a it's mean spirited of you, mate. Obviously, you're intimidated <laughs> after my fucking Easter. Easter no, game. I just no, like when okay. you lose. It's all right. I There's enjoy an intimidated it. factor. I get it. I can feel it. Um, I obviously took Pap off the back of Rando. I had Storm and Cobbo, uh, Storm minus seven and a half, sorry, the line. And what I feel it's like an old sailor's knot. You know, like if you try to tie a knot, you'd just be shit, but a sailor can just tie a knot really well. In terms of punting, taking the line and another person on the other team tries, you just get good odds, you know what I mean? So if you had Storm, um, Cobbo and Pappy, uh, might have lost myself here. I've got those three. <laughs> oh, no, he's tied the knot around his fucking head. Yeah, no, I have 13.56 for those three. But when you take Cobbo out, it goes to fucking like three bucks. You know what I mean? So, like, Cobbo in there, because he's on the other side, adds so much value. So, thir- Cobbo nearly scored twice last week. Mm. He's probably owed one. Um, Pappy, yeah, Rando said. So, 13.26. No. So, like, basically what we just heard there was if you take a try score from the other side whilst – Picking the other team to win, you're odds with, the, yeah. with the with the line, with the line yeah. But yeah. You're, to go from three dollars you know, you know something, the, do you know where the odds go up so much? Yeah, because you've taken the other side because right? they contradict each other. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying though. But to go from <laughs> Pappy and Storm, it's like three fifty. You yeah. throw in a Cobo, dude. Who's why, a don't you throw in, why don't you throw in another Broncos player? I reckon the odds will go up again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Who's our lippy this week? Uh, I forgot his name, but he's one of the guys. I'll get his name up now. He's one of the guys. A few people reached out about the thumping, pumping kind of. Yeah, but there was one person I screenshotted sent it to. I I know. I tried to find his name in the DMs and I couldn't find it. So I just had to go another one. Oh, stiff shit, Yeah, so like I I, I searched his name. Tough titties, as they say. uh, This guy, his name is, drum roll, George. 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 No, it's just George. Just George. Oh, George Slade. George Another Slade. Slade. Wow. Last name Slade. George Slade. Wow. Yeah. Okay. For those of the for those curious, a pumping is twenty plus points, as in that's the margin of defeat. Thirty plus is a thumping. Forty plus is a humping. Mm. Just so you know. Pumping, thumping, humping. Yeah, and if someone could keep track of who gets pumped, thumped, humped the most this season, it'd be great just to know. Yeah. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. If there's someone yeah, out there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's someone who's fucking tracking our bets <laughs> on about even and fucking burying me every week, so it's probably good. Like, you can also attribute that uh, autistic sort of nature that you've got there for following. Please also, pumping, thumping, humping metrics or charting. I feel like a, another Slade didn't get the attention it deserved. I was trying yeah. to, I mean, uh, yeah, the, we've got another Slade in it and like, it almost makes me fucking a little intimidated because the slate, like the we're we're losing to the lippy right now. Yeah, but I will say, like, it maybe it's because it wasn't the first name. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Slade is a first name. Slade is a first name is so hectic. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. True. Where well, it's still good as a last name, but, but it's, it's not as it's impressive. not. It's nowhere near as cool. Sorry. It's still What's his first cool. name, George. Yeah. True. That's you know what I mean. George is not. There's nothing wrong with the name George, but. It does. It sort of doesn't. But like if you're yeah. making a movie poster and it's George Slade, like it's like no one's no. going to say that movie. No. If you no. make a movie poster, Slade, yes. yeah, whatever his name, Correct. yeah, yeah, or George <laughs> in the jungle like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's that in the jungle that does all the heavy lifting. Yeah, that's a great point. Uh, Storm one to twelve. Pat Mariner for uh, shit Slade. Yeah, there we go. Dogs and Roosters, of course. Stadium worst. Place to watch rugby league on the face of God's green earth. Three seventy-five for the doggies, a dollar twenty-eight for the roosters. Uh, ten and a half points is the line, and the total is thirty-seven and a half. Rando, get the umbrellas out, boys. It is going to be torrential in Sydney mm-hmm. and in New South Wales. Forty to eighty millimeters expected, um, so it will be wet, Fuck. and the wet. Favours the Dogs here. They've won three of their last four games in the rain. Roosters, they have lost their last four games in the wet, going 0-3 last season. The favourite in the Bulldogs' last seven wet games have failed to cover the line as well. The Roosters' last five in the wet have gone unders, so maybe a Doggies into an unders could be the play here. The try scorers, Teddy is your best man here. 13 tries in 11 games against the Dogs. He's scored in his last four games against the Dogs, scoring seven tries in those four games he has scored in his last four games at a core as well it's going to be slippery it's going to be wet he's third in the league for tackle breaks averaging six per game look at him to possibly slip through mm, I don't but, know you ne- but you need but don't you need a, a wet weather operator if it's going to yeah. be f- like 
I just think Tedesco will slip over the whole time. He's a slippery. Yeah, he's a he slips over slides. in the fucking draw. Yeah. If, he, if he slides from the 20 meter line, he'll probably get there. I mean, yeah, but I mean, he, he slips the wrong way. He's not diving. <laughs> he's slipping. I mean, I had Teddy, but I had Roosters 13 plus, which I'm obviously going to take out on the back of Rando's stats there. So maybe, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to go just Teddy solo. You get fuck all value for it, but I don't want to overthink it. 230. Um, I feel when I overthink it on the fly, that's where I fuck up. I'm. This isn't this. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I found a couple. <laughs> I got a couple of bets like this this week, and I'm just going to do it. I have Angus Crichton any time. Um, but the dogs being fucking. I, okay, I'll take over. Here's what I'm going to do because you're all over the map. Yeah, dogs plus ten and a half. That's a big fucking line if it's going to be wet and the Roosters play, hate playing wet weather footy. Like fucking oath. Give me that. Give me that. Eighty mils. Like I eighty like, mils. Give yeah, me ten and a half points. 80, give yeah. me. Give me ten and a half points. And yeah. I tell you who's a fucking wet weather operator. Josh Curran. Yeah. Fucking he oath. Is. On an edge, doing a job. Yes, please. Yes, yeah. please. Okay. Crash over, baby, in the driving rain. Josh Curran, plus 10.5 doggy, 6.15. That's a bet. Right second row. That's a wet the, weather bet. Right second row was the top try scorer for the dogs Bang. in the wet last week. I will last year. just say on Josh Curran, playing right second row, as you said, there's a kid making his debut off the bench who's a right edge second row. I think they'll shift Curran into the middle. What is the game. his name, Guru? Uh, Katoga, his name is. He impressed in the trials. He'll come off the bench. 11.50 anytime? I wouldn't be shocked if he potentially starts. 11.50 And then Curran in the middle. Time. Yeah, I reckon. That, mate, you look at the... Bulldogs middles. They're, they're probably not far away from giving me a phone call at the moment. So, so I'm going to have to go kick out then. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Kick out, 883. Kick out goes in. Thank you, Rui. You're a very nice man. I've added kick out into my. I've got Angus Crichton. <laughs> I'm putting kick out in. Jeez, that's a that's that's a pretty good looking bet. Dogs at ten I and a half. To have, I need to have some dog in there. I can't just have fucking. Yeah, yeah because they, I reckon they go better in the rain. Where you yeah, know, it's like I think I watched an episode of Deadliest Warrior, uh, Russian Spetners versus American uh, Green Berets. AK 47s aren't as good as an M16, but you throw a bit of mud and sand, M16 jams up and fucks out. AK 47 just keeps firing. That's they a do. great fucking. Like, as that's per, actually a really good. As per. What's that movie called? Nicholas Nicholas Cage. He's, oh, he, Guns. Uh, Lord, Lord of War. Lord of War. I mean, if you learn a lot about an AK on Lord of War. <laughs> I um, I there's had a great, Angus Crichton. There's a great scene. Yeah. Sorry. Yep. I had Angus Crichton in there. He's returning to the starting <laughs> side. Friend of the show. Good, positive energy, positive vibe bet. But hearing the dog's proclivity for fucking ruining the party, I have to take a double ender on this one. Throwing in a kick out. If it's wet weather, I also don't hate this. Like, it's just going to be short passes to back rowers running hard and fast. Rugby league lines. Crichton and kick out anytime is 28.30. I don't know if that seems like a lot or not a lot. It feels like a lot, but it's also like they're fucking back rowers, so it's not. It feels like a lot. It feels like a lot. Yeah, Crichton's playing like 450 or something. That's I'm, I'm actually yeah. not mad at that. Those odds are pretty horny. Rue? I'm lost. Very much so lost. I think that uh, you guys are putting a lot of trust in Rando over there, which is bold. Yeah. Uh, I've looked at this game, I've eyeballed it, and I went Angus Crichton. I like him returning in this game, point to prove. And I had Daniel Tupu in there. I think that doggy's right side is where they'll attack. Um, I can just see myself doing what you guys have done, changing my bets, throwing Bulldogs in there, and then I get to the end of the week and fucking Tupu and Gus have crossed, and I go, you moron. Yeah. Mm. Don't outthink the room. I'm just going to stick with what I started the week with. Uh, Daniel Tupu, Angus Crichton, 957. It's, yep. you've, I will say this. You've, you've been on the show, what, this is your seventh week, and you've already learned a valuable lesson, which is don't always follow Randa. In fact, you could argue never follow him. It's terrible him. when the whole panel follows me, especially <laughs> Tom, I think. Um, <laughs> but listen, I still like wetness. Wetness yeah. is still wetness, right? Yeah. Wetness, even if Rando, you know, is the one that said it. Yeah. Wetness, wetness still. I love, I love to side bet the line. But for, is wet still wet? Is wetness still wet? No, wetness, is, wet. wetness is always wet. Whereas statistics can be fucked. Yes. you can't, you can't be wrong you can't, about you weather. You can't, you can't be wrong about wetness unless it doesn't, unless it's not wet. It's well, wet. How, wet how many mils did you say? Sorry, how many mils? Forty to eighty millimeters. Yeah, so See, that's wetness. That's yeah. very wet. That's Heavy just showers. Wetness. Yeah, there's. Just the wetness is wetness. No, right? no, that's so, that's moisty. No, no, so it doesn't matter about statistics. It's about wetness. Yep, and that's why you take dogs plus ten and a half because it's wet. Any kick out. Uh, and then our lippy of the beta Slade. He is Roosters minus 10.5. Brandon Smith anytime. 
Jeez, Rando's stats would beg to differ. 622 there. Cheese is a bit of a wet weather guy, though. Cheese is, but Bruce yeah. is minus 10 and a half. Anyway, we'll see. Yeah, we will see. We move on to the Knights v. the Dragons at the very undeserved 8 p.m. slot on Friday night. How did that happen? I don't know. I think there's someone who's been shot at NRL HQ. <laughs> um, this is at McDonald Jones Stadium. Uh, $1.44 the Knights, two eighty five for the Dragons. The line seven and a half, and the total is thirty eight on the nose. Is it? Is that correct? Yep. Rando, what's up? Uh, as I mentioned, it will be wet as you well. Same that. conditions. The Dragons, home away from home, is Newcastle. They've only lost three times at McDonald Jones uh, since 2003, winning 14 out of 17 games. Similar to the Dogs and Roosters, obviously being played in a pool. The Dragons have won four of their last six games in the wet. All six games were as the underdog as well, while the Knights, they didn't play wet weather footy at all last year. So this will be their first game in the wet since 2022. Looking at try scorers, the best one here that I could find is Ponga. He has scored in his last three games against the Dragons, and the opposing fullback has scored the most tries against the Dragons this year. And Turbo, Turbo probably should have scored last year, last week, well, but he uh, gave that I last was on minute off. Heavily offload. for first try scorer. Do your stats go as deep as finding if Ponga scored in the wet? Yeah, I can go that far. Give me a second. So I need uh, to know that. Yeah, because like, it's like, what's his wetness? Like, what's yeah, he like? Because he's wet? a quick operator, but if it's if he's yeah. swimming, what's to he the trial what's line? he like drenched? Yeah, that's what you need to know. Absolutely. That's that's the real that's the real. I'll test get back of, to you, Sibber. Can he fuck in the rain? Can that's what fuck, we need to know. Can he fuck while sopping wet? <laughs> um, I again, this is one where the odds sort of surprise me. But with these wet weather games, I've just been going for like, what's what could happen in a wet weather game of footy? Like nothing crazy. I'm not going for like wingers and shit. I'm trying to think of like just wet weather operators. Now, when Manly got fucked in the ass by the Dragons last week. Jack Bird was a presence. He was running so hard. He was steaming over the top of the people, and it just caught my eye. <laughs> now, I didn't like that he was doing it to us, but I am now not having to view Jack Bird in the prism of ruining my Saturday. So I like Jack as just a hard-running centre, short ball off the half. Don't say something that's going to fuck my bet here. No, I was actually going to say, just another breadcrumb from last week. You might remember I went the Jack Black bet. He was the only number four with the initials JB last oh, week. Oh, yes. He was begging so for So maybe it. he goes over now as well to fuck Rue even more. Again, you throw Jack Bird and then you throw in a Tyson Frizzell. Again, just hard running back rower. Just getting the job done in the wet. 29.62. Not bad. Don't mind that. You mentioned uh, fucking the Rue there. Uh, <laughs> and I have gone Kai Piss Paul every <laughs> single week. Uh, I have decided to move off him this week, and obviously that was the green flag for the other boys to get on him. They'll get to that soon, which has me petrified. But I'm going to go in the wet, either team by less than 10.5. I'm going to go Tyson Brazil. I think he started the season really, really well. Uh, $10.79, but I am petrified to not be on Kai Pierce Paul, whose dick has been hitting the back of my throat. <laughs> <first minute>. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And can I be honest with you? That's your problem. <laughs> That's yeah. like you've come on way too strong. Yeah. Kai Pierce Paul's like, who the fuck is that guy? Yeah. With like, you know, you just you're coming on really strong and really clinging. And I wouldn't be a, I wouldn't be surprised if he's been on the blow to the cops because you're getting stalker vibes off the roof. Mm. And it's just put him off. It's put him off. Whereas I'm gonna come in nice and easy. I'm just gonna go, mate, if you want to grab a beer, let's grab one. We can shoot the shit if you want. We can maybe have a punt. You know, play a bit of pool, just chill the fuck out. Right. If the mood strikes, we'll have a couple of rums, maybe a couple of tequilas, maybe we'll play the pokes. You know, really relaxed stuff instead of you just mouthing him all the time. Mm. And I think with a with a with a, a delicate approach, you know, one that doesn't turn him off, he's likely to score this week. I'm gonna put Lomax in there to boost me. Odds eleven twenty eight. I yes. can't say much more for uh, Kai Pierce Paul than Eddie just said. Uh, obviously, hoping Rue wasn't on him. Uh, I've got him in my super coach team, so I'm not going to go into it. I am interested, though, Rando, if you've gotten those rain ponger stats. I do, I do. Five tries in his last eight games, Sebo. In, in the, the rain? Okay, perfect. KK, <laughs> KPP and Ponga, 10 14. KP bet. KP and a KP yeah, bet. Yeah, yeah, it's a real KP bet. Is there any concern from the both of you? And I'm speaking to you here because you're obviously talking about like taking KPP out. For like you know a bit of a good time, but like he's going to be hanging around as well. Two's but a he, threes a nah, crowd, but so but like, but it's the nature of it, right? Like but we're is he going to be like, oh, come over here, KPP, and then you're going to be like, oh, I don't, no, I, I don't mind if Sebo comes with me. We could all go down together no, as a threesome and play a bit of pool and drink some fucking. But also, we've been like time. multiple events, you know, even up at Shorty's where you're talking to someone over there, yeah. I'm talking to someone over there. Mm. 
KPP can float in between. Yeah, he can, like, he can work between we us. Can, yeah, we can play, a, you know, three. We'll find another random, maybe Ponga, to do 2v2 and pull. My only, my only concern is, like, I hope and pray that KPP is a big uh, Greek mythology guy. Like, after a like of ancient years. wars, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. if he's into that shit, if he likes getting bailed up in a pokey Mate, room, he's, been yeah. to, he's from fucking Europe. Like, that would have been high school. He would have learned yeah, all yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so, he needs, so, he needs, so, uh, so he's good. He's he needs fine, to yeah, be a yeah. fan of Greek mythology <laughs> and not getting a word in. So, if he likes that. <laughs> and he'll have a great time with both That's of you. the other thing that scares me with KPP. <laughs> this is proper English rugby league conditions. Oh, yeah. It's perfect for him. It's a great point. It's a great right? point. Jesus. Thank God you're off him. Lippy, Slade, the shit one. Overs 39 and a half. Ponga ATS, Ravalawa. ATS 625. I thought about going Ravalawa. I don't think I've ever wrangled a Ravalawa. He always does oh, seem he always to fucking me. score. He does score, but he's like, he's impossible Over 40. To you know what I mean? He's like a Over fucking, 40 in the wet season. Over 40 is huge. It's like he's not as hard to, as to wrangle as a stags. You have to go into the oh, yeah. bush to get a stags. But it's like it's just trying to, you know, capture a budgie that hasn't had its wings clipped. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's, a flying bird. Like, it's just a flying bird. It's not, it's not going to soar the skies, but you're like, I need to get it back in the cage. You've got to sneak up on it. Yeah, you can't. It's hard. It's hard. I mean, I'm not the best budgie operator, so. No, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> Nor am I. Oh, I don't like three legs for 625 no. in the condition. Let's move on. Bunnies Warriors at a core stadium. My goodness, a core fucking stadium. Uh, 210 for the Rabbitohs. The Warriors faves $1.73. The line a very fucking stay away from me, two rugby league points. And the total 41 and a half rando. More wet, more wet. More wet, 26 degrees, 50% chance of rain at kickoff, but there'll be 20, 20 to 40 millimetres in the morning. So it will be still wet on 26 that. 26 and field. wet. So is that going to be like humid? Humid, wet. Yeah, it'd be disgusting. Uh, the Warriors, they've struggled in this head-to-head -head fixture, winning only one of their last 15 games against the Rabbitohs. They've also only won three of their last 14 day games in Sydney. For try scorers, the weak link in the Waz side is Rocco Berry. He's conceded three tries this year. The Bunnies, of course, left dominant, scoring 41% of their tries down that left edge, with the left centre scoring the most. Uh, with four tries, so I do like Jackie Boy Whiten. He's also scored in his last two games against uh, the Waz. Mm. Fucking hell. Mm. <laughs> this is a tough game. I've just got to go with my gut, and my gut tells me the Rabbitohs stink. That's what it tells me. I've not liked what they've, they've, they've dished up for the last six months, including last year. It's been pretty fucking ordinary. And the fact that they get a very unconvincing win against the Bulldogs last week, and what, they're fucking favourites now? Just about? I don't know about that. Why? Why is that happening? I still don't it's, have a fucking seven. Like, what are we it's talking wily, about? Wily, wily, wily old Neds. I feel it's. I don't. I. I. I don't know about that. I like Warriors minus two and a half. Give it to me, and I can take it. Mm. I like Roger Tuivasa-Sheck. I know he's moved back to the centres, but again, wet weather football. You know what I mean? Just out the back sort of stuff. Pin it behind the ears and and get into it. Four dollars thirty three. <laughs> I just can't go the rabbit eyes. I just can't. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take Eddie's bet and I'm gonna raise him a DWZ try scorer here to get six thirty nine. So RTS DWZ was minus two point five. Uh, chance of a clock start returning to the side this week. That means that the right winger will start to score tries again. Uh, had him for had DWZ for two plus at the start of the week. Then heard the rain. I've downgraded him to one. Mm. That's my can opinion. I can can I just clarify? Did have you taken minus two and a half? Yes. Yep. Okay. Just got to be. Uh, we've got to be specific here because if it's two points, then we won't know what to do with you. Sebo, what are you doing? I'm still trying yeah. to work out what the fuck I'm doing. Uh, I'm just taking a double ender of like just two guys, like White and RTS, basically. Uh, Whiten's one shining light. RTS, I'm going to be on him all. Like RTS isn't like I wouldn't consider him a hot boy. I'd consider him like even a tier above it. Just like a man. Like you know how guys, when you look at like movie stars. Back in the 90s, they looked like men. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, like Bruce, Bruce Willis, Willis and shit. And shit. Yeah, now, yeah. You know, now you don't get anyone looking even close to well, that. Well, because, like, chest hair doesn't <laughs> seem to be cool anymore in the fucking yeah. cinemas. But there's no one's built like those guys. No, like Pierce Brosnan, Bruce. Like, I think about fucking, uh, who was the latest Bond? What's his name? Daniel Craig. Yeah, yeah. He, he was smooth as a baby. He was hot as shit. But when he walked out of the water in those little blue shorts, it was like, that's a smooth, that's Veet Moose City, right? Yeah. Like, whereas you look at the old Pierce Brosnan, man, <laughs> yeah. you could lose, like, a fucking light aircraft <laughs> yeah. in his chest hair. Yeah, yeah. Just, just and you'd be happy to lose one. Fucking oath you would. You'd like to go missing in there if you could. <laughs> um, so these got like, also, yeah, RTS reminds me of just like 
above a hot boy and whiten as well. Like they're just, I reckon they're two guys. If you said try punch their arm as hard as you can and they won't feel it, <laughs> they're the guys I'd pick. You know what I mean? Like they're just something about them. Yeah. Um, punch so, their arm. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try hurt them, but I won't be able to succeed. Uh, Seven eighty two. They're marking up against each other as well. I think so. Makes for good viewing. I don't mind that. I don't mind the old white and RTS. I, uh, fuck, I was just looking, he listened to Rando trying to move and shake and move things around to the point where, and I just want you to know I'm not doing this, but I considered going Jacob Host anytime just to give you an idea of how confused I am this week. Oh, it's me. marked that you can see it right there. 540 Jacob Host. That's probably a breadcrumb now that I say it. <laughs> Fucking hell. Back but, yourself. This is Richie Kenner vibes. Back yourself. <laughs> Jay Host. Jacob Host. Have to. Fuck Hosty. it. You've got I it. do have to now. I was going to go Keon, but Hosty. Jay Host. Hosty. Fuck it. Fuck you all. Milestone I, week for Jay Host as well. 50th game for the South. That's not good for me, dude. No one ever <laughs> fucking does well in their milestone games. Fuck it. I'm going to go two tries. Anyway, I won't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, now you said it, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, what's he paying for Hosty two? Hosty two plus. What's Hosty oh, two oh, plus playing? Yeah, that would be fucking horny. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob Host, two plus fifty-one dollars. <laughs> fucking give it to me. <laughs> two plus. He's the starting back row, isn't he? Let's just check that. Yeah. Which side's he playing on? He's playing team? on the fucking. He's playing on the left. Keep switching he's Playing on the left. Yeah. They put yeah. Keon so back to the right. That's actually not the worst. It's not great. You're dangerously close to going to host triple. I feel. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't say that. Don't you put that on me, you son of a bitch. A host um, hattie does oh. have a nice ring to it. <laughs> well, you can get that's a breadcrumb for someone at home. I'm not doing that. Fifty-one bucks for Jacob Host Two Plus. That's the <laughs> that might be the dumbest bet I've ever done in my life. <laughs> but I like it. I'm actually into it now. Fifty-one for two plus. He's a fucking back rower, starting on the fucking Warriors weak side. Yeah, but he's he's not like he's, he's not like David never scored, feeder, Well, he's probably never scored two tries in his life. He's got five um, tries for Souths in forty-nine games. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Host, get, uh, on him. Host. get on him. Get on him. Lippy. He Barney's does average 80 two. minutes, to be fair, so he's got a good shot. Okay, I like it. Barney's plus two and a half. Latrell for the Lippy, 404. Just a, I've got to be honest with you. I, I don't like what I see out of shit. Out of shit shit slade. slade. No. It's just, it's very. Eh. You see a guy called with a slade in his name, you just immediately are, are intimidated because you have to be, but then. When you when you get through the show and you see his bets, you're like oh, I got nothing to worry about. This guy's fucking, he's he's a dead shit. Respectfully, of course, he's the beater Slade. Uh, the next game, match of the round: Seagulls, Panthers, Brookie, two thirty five for Manly, dollar sixty four. The Panthers, the line three and a half, total thirty nine and a half. Rando. Give me some good stats. Uh, there's n I really have looked so hard for a good stat here for Manly. I just can't find one single one here. They've lost their last eight against Penrith, lost nine of their last 12 as the underdog, lost six of their last eight at Brookie on Saturday at 5.30 p.m. It's all pointing to the Panthers, unfortunately, here. For try scorers, still pointing the Penrith's way. The right edge has scored 67% of the Panthers' tries this season. Manly's left side has conceded 52% of their tries. The Panthers' right center uh, has scored five tries against Manly as well um, in the last three games. So Isaac Tungle looks good here for a meaty. Okay. Smell that? Yeah. What's that, mate? Jacob O's double. <laughs> that is it. It's redemption. Oh, is it redemption? It's redemption time. Sounds like a sinus infection. It's redemption. Listen, all those stats point to one thing. Redemption. What happened last week against the fucking Dragons? Worst performance I've ever seen. What's this week, mate? Redemption. The righting of wrongs, punters and dribblers. The righting of wrongs. Manly going to this game, underdogs, up against it. Everyone doubting it. Everyone hating them. Rando over there going, can't find one single positive stat. Is that right, is it, mate? How hard you look? Okay, deep. everyone Too is deep. shitting on Manly, and that's where we like to play our football. We don't like being heavy favourites going up against the Dragons on an Easter Saturday. We hate that. We like in the wet to be at home against the Panthers, the reigning champs, three on the fucking trot with our backs against the wall, having been spanked last week. That's what we like. We go in this week and we get 13 fucking plus against the bloody Premiers. That's okay. what we do. 13 plus. Who fucked up last week? Five times. Five unforced errors. Or errors generally. Turbo. 
He doesn't do that two weeks in a row. He goes out and scores a double. Who else had a bit of a shocker? Jackson Bolo. He had made two errors. He goes out there, writes horrible wrongs. You get $51.09, and I'm tripling it. There you go. Redemption bet. I will say the tripling of it is performative because your odds are so high that it doesn't really make a difference. <laughs> that's performative tripling for... Listen, I get it, but that's no, no. Like, is performative. It per- but is it performative? It's performative. Yeah. Well, because it's not going to fucking make but it. So, no, but no, but if it gets up, yeah. right, yeah. then I get three times. Well, no, of course. Yeah, so yeah. you don't understand You're how that per- works. But it's do performative. You? <laughs> no, 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 it's actually smart. It's actually smart, though. Well, no, it's smart yeah. if it gets up. Yes, but you're just kind of putting. But I don't it, risk well, anything. Fifty one dollars. But you don't risk anything. Yeah, so, that, so, that, so why wouldn't you do it? Because it's well, not performing. No, you, you, do you don't get mad. Yeah. No, I'm saying why you wouldn't get, you do it? You don't get mad. You, I'm saying why wouldn't you do it? You don't get strategy. You don't get strategy. You even said about strategy. You said the exact same thing about seven the other. You go, mate, his triple doesn't mean shit. On his four dollars. On his four dollars. No, no, no. He goes, he goes, he goes. His triple doesn't mean shit because the odds are so high. Like he was saying that on one of them. As yeah, in, it's, as in you, it's not a risk. Yeah. But if you yeah. tripled your you Olin bet, it doesn't mean if you shit. tripled your Olin bet, you'd be at the top of the leaderboard I understand and you would have sacrificed no, no, no. an extra two fifty. Yeah, and that. you would have actually and you would and of you would have given up no of but you don't course. get that. No, I but do. you don't get it. But it's performative in your bet. <laughs> it's not performative. It's performative. <laughs> if I've got a fifty dollar odds from here on out, it will be tripled. <laughs> yes. Yes. Because it's smart. When have you hit a fifty one dollar bet? You don't risk anything. Of course not. Exactly. So it's not performative. Well, it's smart. Performing. You don't get it. You're, you're a fucking. You're a showman. You're an idiot. You're a showman. Yes, I'm a showman. Exactly. Of course I'm a showman. But you're I'm also a smart. No, you're, you're an idiot. A, you're a showman. You are a dumb cunt. You're, an, you're you a showman. You have always been a thick brick. You are a You don't showman. know how to count. You're a you're showman. You're a fucking thicky mate. You're a showman. You're a dumb cunt. Come on. Dad. You are the dumbest cunt I've ever met. You don't understand math. You don't. You don't know how to count. You're a showman. You don't know how to count. It's not about counting. Mate, the amount of fucking stories I can tell about you and numbers. Well, good, good hey, well that's, my numbers are awful, dude. But showman you are. Uh, now, you want to talk about showman. <laughs> dumb dude. cunt. What's your bet? Showman. Calm down here. Calm down. So I'll tell you why you're a dumb cunt? Because you haven't tripled yours. Because you're a nah, dumb cunt. Well, listen, I mean, it doesn't make me a dumb cunt. It makes me just... <laughs> a dumb cunt. I'm not a showman. <laughs> I'm not showman. It makes you a stupid cunt that doesn't Pamale, understand odds. Turbo, Taruva, May. This is just a double-double ender. I can't obviously bet on the result here because I'm terrified going up against the Panthers. 55-64. 65? 55. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no one gives a shit about that, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it hell. Bro? All right. Um, I'm going to take Taruva as any time. Try score. He just seems to cross every week at the moment. I'm going to go Panthers to win 13 plus, but I think it'll be a pretty low scoring game. I think Panthers win this one like 22 to 4 or something along those lines. So Panthers 13 plus, under 39.5. Uh, thirteen dollars eighty one for me. Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to disagree with you, mate. But that's all right. Seba. Yeah, look, I'm going Taruva as well. Uh, like Taruva and Pe- what's he paying any time? It's like two something, two dollars twenty close. Yeah. Jeez, you still but get a prize for Taruva. Like, everyone else that's like scored one try yeah. is like a dollar eighty. Would you say it's pretty juicy? Two twenty. <laughs> well, it's, it's certainly better than a dollar eighty. Whatever the fuck. <laughs> it's you it's juicy week. for a winger in an elite side. A leading yeah. try scorer. Yeah. Where are yep. we here? Um, so Any time is there actually value in this game? Is it, is well, it if you're on Manly. Been on this one. Taruva's $1.95. Yep. Oh, no, to- but this no, seems like is. it should be the easiest bet. Taruva, Panthers only to score 20 plus, 470. Uh, I feel both of these legs have been banging week on week. I just haven't put them together. Uh, finally put them together, learning how to fucking bang a 470. And you know what? I'm not going to double it. I'm going to double it. And it is going to mean something. I, $4.70 bet, double. That means something. It means something. Uh, I just feel that I've been... Triple? No, oh, so double, yeah. Just two. One star, two stars double. Man. Yeah, two star for a double. I've just got to do it because it's just... If this bet doesn't come off, I'm happily not going to do it ever again. But I just feel it's been staring me in the fucking face all week. Lippy, turbo anytime. Edwards anytime. $8.01. All fucking righty then. Where are we? We are at the Fish v Tigers Suncorp Stadium. Dollar fifty-seven. Fish two forty. The Tigers. Four and a half is the line. Forty-two and a half total points. 
Rando. Uh, 23 degrees, 60% chance of rain during the game there in Brisbane. 10 to 20 millimetres expected. Now, the Tigers are looking for three straight wins for the first time since 2018. Jesus they Christ. have won six of their last nine Saturday games against Queensland opposition. The Tigers have covered in four of their last five games as the underdog in the wet. They've also won three of their last five games against Queensland teams in the wet. So the Tigers looking good there, even if you just want them to cover that line. The Finns, they've leaked five tries to right side attackers. The Tigers, they've scored 30% of their tries on their right side. Now they hate hitting the right edge. Usually it's Appy coming out of dummy half and hitting someone short. That person I feel could be Isaiah Papali'i. IPAP here scored four tries in his last four games at Suncorp Stadium. He's also paying a juicy $5.80. Nice. That's all I right. like your stats because I went back and had a little gander at the last time the Tigers won three in a row. It was in 2018. Guess what happened the That's week good. before in the second week of that run? They won by a point. What happened last week? Win by a point. The next week, the third week, they won by 13 plus. There you go. So I'm taking Tigers 13 plus at six bucks. Also I beat like Parramatta that. in that three uh, game they win did. run. They did. So Tigers 13 plus six bucks. Thank you. All righty. I'm keeping it simple. Obviously, Juzzy Olam does it for me. I go back to Juzzy and I keep him deep, deep inside of my mouth. I then <laughs> chuck in a hammer anytime at two bucks. Hammer two bucks. Thank you very much. Not picking a result because can you trust Tigers to go three and on the trot? No, you can't, but they could. I also don't trust the fish. Six dollars and seven cents. I like it. I don't Seba. mind that. Seba. Yeah, I'm also taking a six dollar bet as well. Uh, but it's just JMK to score. I saw that. I was just scrolling down the anytime try scores. I'm like, why is he six bucks? I had to go check if he's like not starting. He's starting. I don't think there's a hooker even on the bench. He's gonna play eighty minutes probably. Scored a couple this year. Oh, he's scored once. We were scored all on him last week. I don't know if that week. works or against us or against you or for you that he fucked us we've, last we've week. Ch we've chased blokes this year and it hasn't come off it's yet. It's six bucks. No, it's, yeah, yeah, I like the odds. Six bucks is good. Like, I'm pretty sure. Six on, bucks is pretty punchy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. What's his face? Um, The GOAT, Marky Nichols, is the try scorer after him. Yeah, you right. know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, just yeah, think, yeah. I just think that's a misprice. Uh, so I'll take <laughs> it. Nichols is equal with <laughs> Jeremy Marshall King. It's yeah, but he, 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 he trucks not, though. I'm saying Mark, Marky Nichols is short. I mean, not short enough. <laughs> yeah, he's long. Yeah. JMK averages five runs a game too, so it's a very short window. Right. Five okay. runs a game. That's not much. That's he not scored much. a bit last year, didn't he? Yeah, he picks his moments well, though. Yeah, he yeah. does. Yeah. He's a moment mm. picker. He's a moment yeah. picker. <laughs> Reckon he's picking his moments. Pick well. Last week. well, he must pick his moments <laughs> and he's a moment picker. Uh, all right, have we, who's up? Is everyone gone? Uh, I have got JMK. I'm going to run it back with Sebo. Uh Bit of a numbers guys at times. Jeremy Marshall King playing against the Tigers here. The Tigers are coached by his actual older brother, Benji Marshall. Benji famous for wearing the number six. I felt there was a bit of omenry in oh, that, which I like. Okay. JMK, I and I just that. think Hamiso at $2 is too much. So $12.05 for JMK and Hamiso. <sighs> nice. Lovely. Lippy, Osako, two or more tries, 540. All It'll right. be quiet this year. Mm. A little yeah. bit quiet. You know what? I was sitting with Timmy Williams this morning to Bees and Break Evans, and he said to me, Do you reckon Osaka's been quiet? I go, Yeah, he has. He's averaging 77 in Supercoach. Had a ripper of a game Fine. last week. Yeah. Just not fucking pounding that try line. Yeah, just, but he's getting tackle breaks all over the place. Yeah. And just not pounding that line. Yeah. It's Herbie all Farnworth right. on the right side. That's why he's. Herbie scoring. never passes the he fucking never ball. Passes <laughs> the yeah, ball. There you go. <laughs> but I mean, he saved my life with that, actually, probably. <laughs> Next up, have Cowboys Titans Country Bank Stadium. Dollar thirteen for the cows, six dollars twenty for the Titans. Embarrassing, seventeen and a half. Embarrassing points is the line. Forty-seven and a half is the total. It's going to be humid. Twenty-nine degrees there in Townsville. Twenty-nine percent chance of rain. One to five millimeters expected, but that's just enough for it to be absolutely dewy. Uh, the Cowboys—they've won ten of their last eleven against the Titans in Townsville. They've also covered the line as favorite against the Titans in Townsville in six of their last six games. Uh, so there's no Cowboys players here worth the value uh, for try scorers. So I'm looking at the Titans. The Titans, they've scored 67% of their tries down their left side. 
All those tries have been through grubbers. The Cowboys have conceded four tries, two grubbers on their right side defense. So that's a perfect matchup for a little kick, little jink behind the defensive line. Uh, Brian Kelly is playing game 150. He's at left center, so he could be an omen bet. If not, Harley Smith Shields at $3.25 is great value on the left wing there. Every yeah. time I hear Harley yeah. Smith Shields, I almost am guaranteed he plays AFL. I don't know what the fuck that he's, name, he's an yeah, AFL player. Yeah, that name, like, even though it's double barreled and stands out, it just goes over my head. I just I just come circling back yeah, to someone yeah, like Val the, Holmes. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's a name. Yeah, Harley That's Smith a name. Shields, dude. What are we talking about? Yeah. What are you betting, Sebo? I'm just going Val 2 plus. As I said, his handicap's dropping. He's on fire. He seems to be confident. <laughs> and he's got a fucking good name. Eight bucks because you have to go with 2 plus here because everyone's like a dollar ninety. Um, I bet the Titans come out and just fuck everyone, but you that's know, the problem, yeah. isn't it? Like the Titans could fuck everyone here just with some limp dick performance. <laughs> but I also am like, I'm not fucking running that risk. This is a bit of a fill your boots game. I know we had one of those a while, like a couple of weeks ago. You thought mm. it was a fill your boots game. It was mm. the Tigers. They fucked it. They fucked you. Actually, I think they fucked us all. I think we all tried to fill our boots. Sharks a versus Tigers. Tigers sharks. Yeah. 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 Um. This is a bit fill your bootsy though, isn't it? They sucked last week. They sucked the week before, and I'm pretty sure they may. Well, they might have had a buy actually. They probably still sucked then. I'm going felt hat again. Nineteen bucks. Like, no, they don't go to felt at all. But <laughs> fuck it, I want to hit a felt hat bet. And if you're yeah. gonna hit a felt hat bet, it's gonna be against the fucking Titans. So fuck it, I'm in. Yeah, they're just not going to him though. I know, but I'm like, they're, they're never going to go to him. So I got to take the opportunity when it's like, if this is boot filling season, <laughs> yeah. you got to try and fill your boots with a felt hat. Like that's the only time you're going to get it. Yeah. It's almost like you got to line it up like with the, when the planets are all perfectly aligned. This is as close as I'll ever fucking get. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow you on the felty. It's his time, and if they don't go this side this week, then it's that's over forever. You know, <laughs> one, one last hurrah. Never again. <laughs> One last hurrah with Kyle Felt. I've got Felt 2 plus into Nanai. Nanai, however you pronounce it. 999. You really are going right. Right hand side. I'm going right. Well, that's what I said. I'm going to die on this hill. If they don't go that way, then it's all over. (laughs) Nanai has scored, though. (laughs) So they do go. Oh, they go there, but just half right. It's like you got Dearden, Drinky, and Val going past me the ball. You listen to them over Chad. And yeah, that's you know what, what I mean? the problem like, is, yeah. is you've got to, you need, we need fucking Dearden just playing the fall all over the field, both sides of the ball, whatever the fuck you call it, both sides of the field. Boys, uh, I'm going to double stake for the first time this year. I'm going to take Val Holmes at $2.35. Oh, um, after, job. after watching uh, Eddie triple stake that 50 to 1, I feel like I'm missing something with the staking. Got a bit to learn, I think. But, yeah, uh, you, you got to be well, nervous. Considering you... Yeah. I'm That's taking right, man. Val. Well, listen. You, Eddie, I hope he staked a $51 dollary dude. You're doing 235 here. This could so fuck you're, you in the mouth. So you're taking that's risky. It's already done, mm. so you But it's know. already it's done. It's an easy yeah. leg. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah, a no, it's, it's, yeah. It's a very good it's a good shout. Like yeah. a Val Holmes versus so like, Titans. Typically, typically what yeah, if you're going to go short, yeah, that you got to try and make it worth your while, which means that you'll double or triple it. But it, it's if it if it doesn't hit, it hurts. Oh, it Titans hurts. the other week, yeah. it hurts because otherwise two thirty five just you only get two and a half units if it gets up, something like that. So it's not really. I've worth never it. wanted someone to go down with a very like just non event injury that just rules him out for like the second half of the game. He's back next week and goes on to like finish his career like strong and win premierships and shit. But like for him just to like for him to just be injured for this game, that would be fantastic. Cramp maybe. Just cramp won't stop. Well he's gotta take the field though. You don't want No, no, you get him on the field and then he has just some out of the blue cramp. Maybe some the diarrhea he shits himself with the biohazard. They gotta get him off, but he's fine next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lippy Titans plus seven and a half. Jojo Fafita and Felt eight dollars seventeen. The Felt going on, which I don't like. <laughs> He'll score three. Yeah, can not score three for sure. Uh, last game of the round, we have got the Raiders and the Eels at GIO. That stinky shithole at the uh, at the tip. Dollar eighty two for the Raiders. Two dollars for the Eels. One and a half points is the line. Forty two and a half total. Rando. That's a perfect week for me, by the way. Not forgetting Rando. Not a big deal. 
Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks, uh, 19 degrees, dry for kickoff. Uh, there is a little bit of light rain in the morning, but shouldn't be too much of an effect here. Now, the Eels, they have a hoodoo at GIO Stadium. They've only won three of their 17 games there since 2001. The Raiders, they love the Sunday 6 p.m. fixture, winning their last seven games on that time slot. For try scorers, it is the uh, right edge that is the concern for the Raiders at the moment. Mike Acevo, he scored in four of his last five games against the Raiders, scored in his last two at GIO. Uh, now with Blaze Talungi on that left side, they still kept smashing it that way with Clint Gufferson swinging around. So I reckon they try and find Acevo again for that. At $2.05, it's not much, but for Acevo, you, you take that. Do you, how wet is it going to be, did you say? Was it not that wet, not that wet. Dill stayed on the left, did he? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Deals Stayed left here. Yeah. Okay. Don't Interesting. Mind don't mind it. Mm. I really don't know what the fuck's going on in this game. I've got to be honest with you. Uh, but I just, my vibe, and this is vibe and vibe only, punters and jubbers, is this game goes unders. So I'm going Huddy and unders. I haven't been on Huddy this year. He was banging the fucking door down for me last year. So Huddy and unders, 631. Oh, I just don't know, like, the Eels... Is is Moses literally the absolute key to them doing anything good? Like maybe he is, maybe. But like everyone's like Dylan. He's pretty good. He's good, but everyone's like Dylan Brown. Dylan Brown. Like Dylan Brown's only won two of his last eight games that's without what I'm, Moses. Like, so is Dylan Brown either the most overrated player of all time, or is Mitchell Moses like underrated? I don't know which one it is. So I like I don't. I hope the Eels aren't shit though. But I don't know what to do here because then the Raiders were shit last week. So you're just sort of fucking, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Fuck everything. I'm going for a name bet. And these are two of the most rugby league names of all time. <laughs> Blaze, B-L-A-I-Z-E, and J apostrophe main. Jermaine and Blaze anytime. And you get a fucking red hot price, as you should for names like that. $30.16. Oh, it's Old Testament. Jesus mm. Christ. Let's go through Tommy this week, should we? 1385, 2830, 2962, 51 bucks, 5564, 607, <laughs> which is surprising. Well, 19 bucks, $30.16. Now, let's just be, Now, if you look at it here, Crichton and kick out at 2830, you look at that and you go, shit, that's a good price, even though it's probably not going to happen. I'm not saying anything. Then I'm just you saying go, it's Old Testament. Then you go, but, these, but there's Old Testament where I like like my manly bet where there's like four legs, $55. But these ones, I'm like, I don't know how Jack Bird and Tyson Purcell gets you $29 or Crichton and kick out gets you 28 Even fucking the name bet seems like it's overs. Blaze and Jermaine, $30. <laughs> now, it's probably... Because it's unlikely to happen. <laughs> <laughs> but fucking hell, dude. You only need two try scorers who can score tries. No, I'll give you that. For two guys, it's, it's you're pretty fucking you good getting, odds. You're getting good prices They're for not, two that's blokes. That's a little, it's a mixture of Old Testament with like some wily, new yeah. age, like investigative mm. journalist shit. Where I'd it's say, like, I've uncovered yeah. some value here. <laughs> like that's, you know. The odds are so good, it's almost like you've left a SIBO in somewhere. I know, you know? dude, but I've, tr- I've, I've checked these motherfuckers. And obviously I will encourage someone to check my working because, you know, I don't want to be fucking hoodwinking, but... I think I've just fucking nailed it. That's the that's the real concern. Boys, uh, I'm going to uh, copy and paste my first bet of the season. I'm going to take Eddie's bet here, Huddy, into unders. I absolutely hated my bet that I had uh, for about $4, I think it was. I just feel like I get to the end of every weekend and I look back at the results and I always look at Eddie's and go, fuck, he did all right again. Mm. I'm going to pretend he's not here because I refuse to compliment him. Thanks, but, Yeah, you're gobbling him now. Yeah, Jeez, well, you got a few dicks in your mouth this week. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, Huddy into under yeah, six thirty-one. No, that's for me. smart. That's smart. I like Hudson Young running at Young Blaze. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, yeah. We like that. We yeah. like that. We like that. Lippy, have you gone, Sebo? No, but I might just uh, go down with the ship as well. You know what I mean? Come and either stink it up or join the glory and do a Control C, Control V. There as we well. go. There we are. Lippy, savage. I thought you might have been copy, copying the Blaze Jermaine one. That's all right. <laughs> That's all right. Shocked. Savage, Brown, points total even, so no field goals. $11.13 for the Lippy. Uh, that is the final game of the round. Tom, we move on. We do. We scoop units. We change our lives. We get ourselves back in the green so that we don't look like a bunch of fucking Losers. Uh, I've just gone with five winners. I don't like it, but fuck it. 
Broncos to beat the Storm, which they haven't done apparently for a million <laughs> years down in Melbourne. Roosters to win. Dragons to beat the Knights. Bunnies to win. Cows to win 25-10. Yeah, it's... If it comes off, I'll give you... Yeah. I'll, well, I'll if it comes it, off, yeah. then yeah. Like, that's like... I mean, if my fucking yeah. Yeah. blaze bet comes off... But I prefer your blaze bet than that. Bet. Yeah, no. Yeah. No, I get that. But I just... Um, the Broncos looked all right last week. Was it last week? Yeah. They get pounded by Penrith. No, that they last pounded. week or the week they before? Did they did the pounding. They would look good. The Cowboys. Oh, yeah, the Cowboys, Cowboys yeah. yeah. I'm going to go Storm because of the record. Dogs because of the wet. Tigers because of my pattern. And Raiders because they're at home against a Moses-less Eels. 23-25. Dogs over the Roosters is... Like, I mean, I know that like, the dog's going to beat them or is it just like... If it's pouring nah, rain it's gonna be like and anything could happen, mm. yeah. give me the 380. Yeah, look, I actually like my unit scooper this week because I've got Taruva and uh, DWZ in there. Should hopefully bang as they normally do. Pap, I uh, forget what everyone said about him earlier on, but we all liked him. But then you just throw in a Gussie C for the Roosters. He's playing like 450. So you get three guys who are pretty much not certain scorers, but they one in every two times they go over. Throw in a Gussie C, you get 37-67. Don't hate that, mate. I really don't hate it. Not bad, Sebo. Looks okay. For four. No, yeah. it's pretty – yeah, it's all right. For four, that's fucking good. Yeah, it's, it's – But he's got, like, Taruva in there who's just – he's just been hitting big time. DWZ's always lurking about. Pap's in fine, fine regular That's a good form. Yeah, yeah, I like that. It's just a bit of yeah. wet weather. It's basically, crime, it, it yeah. basically an Angus C. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. And <laughs> – Wet Who weather, he's a good line runner. You know, that's all you needed on the wet weather, just close to the line on a good angle. Now, Angus Crichton, dear friend of the show, he put up a post, I believe, and uh, it was it was around trusting the cookie. It might just be worth getting up. It may just be worth getting up. Yeah, I didn't. Just, I did see that. Obviously, the cookie it, is. It right. seems like a personal inside joke or an inside, you know, cookie. I don't know, who cookie. Is. Keep on going, never give up. You know, he's he's had an like he's he had his troubles last year. Cookie's he's back. also what you call. I call missus. my missus Cookie as well. So that's and he's he's come back this year after after you know some troubles last year. He's in the starting side this week. He, he just kept going, and now he may have arrived. Yep, that's all I'm saying. No, I love those vibes because, you know, just sometimes you try to pretend every time you can get up for something. For me, for Go Gamma Golf, sometimes on the way there, I'm like, I feel fucking great and I'm going to go well and sometimes it works. So if he's got on that sort of train of thought where he's going, this is going to be my time, my comeback, I'm loving it. Cookie, Millie's called Cookie, um, <laughs> 3767. Could this be – I mean, this is not a, an immortal bet by any sense, but four try scorers. Just go into my profile. you find it there. Well Rue? Just on that Angus Crichton uh, carousel that he put up last night, there was one image that he put up that had um, a rooster with the head of uh, Siwa Wong on it. After Angus took his spot on the side, I feel like that was a bit of a personal attack on me, personally. I didn't enjoy it. Shit. I thought it was really uncalled for. Still sitting in my draft bench, which okay. is not ideal. No, that's not Is ideal. he? Yeah, a bit of a yeah, dick actually, play by I Angus. think he's still in with mine. That wouldn't shock you, though. That doesn't shock no, me. He might have like actually it. started for that's, me. That's, that's a, that's <laughs> a I was actually comment. shocked to hear you launch an attack on Harley Smith Shields before. He was one of your first picked in. Yeah, I know. I know, because I picked him, and I was like, who the fuck's this guy? <laughs> he's cheap as shit. And then I was like, I, he's, I swear he played for like the Gold Coast Suns or something. <laughs> I don't think you have anyone on your bench who actually plays, though, do you? No, i got yeah. a couple, but I don't pick them. That's my only problem. I almost won last week, dude. I almost won. I was like three points away from beating like Maddie the water boy. Fucking piss me off. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going with a couple of try scorers: Taruva Holmes, Drinky, DWZ, Tupu, uh, and I've got the Raiders Eels game going under 42, 85, 77 for me. Mm. Not bad. Mm. Really not that bad. That's a good one. Interesting. 85, 77 for the Roo. All right, and then our Lippy, the Co Beta Slade, Cobo, Tupo. DWZ, Toto, Hammer, 60. I don't hate that either. 6354. Mm. Interesting. That's Very not bad. That'll, interesting. That we don't want that to get up. We do not want that to get up. That'll be <laughs> real tough stuff. Uh, all right, let's do hot seat. <sighs> okay, hot seat time. Hot seat time. And it is feeling hot. It's been a hot show in Copenhagen. It's been a hot day, a hot show, hot seat. Getting yelled at, getting screamed at, bad mood sort of stuff. Imagine if I brought 
up that he sneaks off to get laser back here so every, every other week. How angry that would have got him. Um, but I won't. Uh, I'm going Murray Tal Lungy anytime. It's there's a lot of try scorers here in this game. Dollar ninety four. The limit's dollar ninety. So I'm just trying to keep myself in this fucking seat until thousand dollar do time. That's all we can hope for. All right, that's it, punters. Uh, thanks for tuning in once again. Thank you to Neds once again. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I'm forgetting. We will see you next week. Bye-bye. You win some, you lose more. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.